Hey guys, Dev here. So I got something really cool for you today to check out. Uh, this is a really awesome uh, tank tool. And what it's gonna do is basically let you graph your threat. And you can use this for anything that you've recorded a Warcraft logs on. So you guys might've investigated the threat tab inside Warcraft logs. And this basically shows who a enemy was attacking at a certain point. And it does break down which tank was tanking which target. And we can even see uh, which, which Hellfire channeler was on which tank, so these are broken down into uh, the different numbers, so it allows us to distinguish which ones uh, were on which tank. But the functionality of this page is relatively basic and doesn't really offer a, a, a lot of information as to what happened. So I'm going to show you guys this really awesome tool, some of you have already seen it in some of my videos and I've had a couple of questions about it at this point, so let's jump into it. This is the threat tool. And it doesn't look like much right now, but once we load it up with some information, it's going to be quite impressive. So this is made by Vumal. This is his Discord tag, and um, this is a pretty excellent tool. So his disclaimer does say that it's um, a still a work in progress. The Druid tank is still on Druid tank threat is still unreliable, and Warrior tank threat um, is getting there. I found Prop Paladin is relatively good at this point. Uh, we don't really have any bonus threat modifiers, with the exception of Holy Shield. Uh, so I think that's kind of why it it is quite quite good. So what you need to do when you come in here, you need to take the Warcraft Logs Earl that you're working with. So we take this, we cut it or copy it, and we put it into the report ID. We can just put this whole thing in there, and we click Fetch, and it will load our log up. And then it's going to ask which fight we want to look at. So we want to look at last week's Megtheridon, for instance. Click on Fetch Refresh. It will take a moment while it builds the the graphs for us. Cool, and now that's done. So we can see the the threat chart here, and we can see this for all the different ads in the fight, and we can also see Mctheridon. And this is really useful when you're trying to break down what happened, who pulled, how did they pull, what ability generated what threat. It's also a really good tool when you're looking at um, how much threat you've generated from your own abilities. So let's talk about how to configure it a little bit. So I can see here Delta, who's one of our rep paladins, and his current threat modifier is 0 0.7. That's based off he has a 30% threat reduction talent in his rep tree. So this is actually incorrect. Um, he did have a salve, but he didn't start the fight with salve, and that's why the tool isn't reading that right. So to make a manual adjustment on Delta's threat level, you want to click on the target uh, drop down. You want to find the player that isn't uh, that has a wrong value. So I'll find Delta in this list. Okay, so if we break down Delta's uh, threat buffs, so Blessing of Salvation is inferred off, Greater uh, Blessing of Salvation is inferred on. And he didn't have a Greater Blessing of Salvation. He was getting a 10 minute buff. So that went on after the start of the fight on this one. So we want to turn that to on, hit refresh. And that puts him where he's supposed to be. So now we can accurately see threat. Okay, so you can see this point here where people got quite close to me. Uh, you can see where the hunters feigned death. You can see where this target here died. So it's the threat dropping off. Um, now, I know that I just uh, destruction potted on the beginning of the fight. And at 120 seconds in, so around this point here, that destruction potion would have been uh, off cooldown. Now, remembering if somebody's in melee range, they can actually go up to 109% over you without pulling. Um, and if they are in, if they're not in melee range, they can go 100, 129%, 130 is the point where they'll pull. So if somebody does creep over you, it's not the end of the world. This is actually a really healthy threat lead, but I do know that I could get an extra Destro pod in. And this shows me after the fact, you know, when I don't have, I might not have a recording of the threat meter, just how close people did come to pulling or, in the instance that somebody did pull, uh, what it was, what it did that generated the threat. So let's have a look at my threat breakdown. So I'm gonna go over here to dev and I can see all my abilities, how much threat I generated over the course of the encounter, what my threat per second was and what my, what my big spenders were. So consecration is my top threat generator with 137 uh, threat per second. Uh, Judgment of righteousness is my second uh, generator. Seal of Righteousness is 132 threat per second. Exorcism is 113. Holy Shield is quite low, so that's 52 threat per second. Now, what we can distinguish from this is if we were to take these spells 
and we were to put them into a spreadsheet, we can track the actual threat per second we got. And from there, we can figure out what our threat per banner was. And that would give us a really good, um, really good breakdown of where we need to spend on mana if we're starting to run Oom and what our highest threat per mana is. Um, so things like this are really good to know if you want to be um, a, a better tank and you really want to get into the nitty gritty of, um, of improvements. Interesting to know as well, like little buffs that you might um, not even think about gave me 2,392 threat over the course of the encounter. Uh, so that's that's kind of interesting. I got 2,855 threat from uh, Mr. X. So another interesting thing. Interestingly enough, eating demonic runes gave me 585 threat. Um, readout proccing. So this is just from getting the, the buff that gives readout, 200 threat. So a lot of inf in useful information to, to look through here and to break down and how you choose to use this information. Yeah, there's lots of different things you can do with it. Um, this could also be used as well to solve arguments with your DPS. If someone was saying, I did this or this, or you had enough threat or you didn't have enough threat, you can show them exactly what you had and draw numbers, which I think a lot of the time uh, is, a, is a really good feature. If you're trying a different build or a different item, you can see uh, how week to week your threat per second might have changed. So I can go and look at last week's threat. So I just loaded up the week before the one we were just looking at out of curiosity. And here's something that's really interesting. So you can see Delta here climbing quite aggressively. Um, and this isn't normal for Delta's threat. So I went through to check if he had Blessing of um, Salve on and he actually started the fight with Greater Blessing of Salve but then lost it. So um, let's take a quick look at this. So to hide all the graphs, you can just double click on, on somebody's name and then you can turn on the people that you want to look at. So I can see here Delta um, went down and then got battle rest at this point here and started to climb again. And you can see his climb is really aggressive compared to what he had, where he had to solve. Like you could expect to kind of track it out somewhere around here. So if this fight went on much longer, he would have been threat capped. And this, this problem here could have been solved um, by getting an, a fresh salvation onto him after the battle res. So that's really interesting. And this is stuff that you would never see without this tool. So uh, let's just bring all the, um, all the numbers back up. Now, I wanted to compare my own threat, which um, 645 um, the week before to the week gone with 701. But what we want to do, because we're only looking at the threat on Magtheridon, we want to just draw a box essentially around the bit of the graph we want to look at. So I'm going to clip that as so. And now the threat per the 266 seconds of this clipped log is 977 compared to the older one if we do the exact same thing 940 uh, threat per second compared to 977 so this week i did about an extra 25 threat per second over the encounter did 260k threat in total compared to the 139k threat i did the week before so obviously that's a nice little uplift in threat so guys i hope that helps um hope you can put this to some good use it's a fantastic tool um, it is a GitHub link, so I will just put the link in the description for you guys to go and check out. If you have any questions um, about the tool, I'm happy to try and answer them. It's not something that I made. Please note, it is still a work in progress. Um, so just respect that. And yeah, go enjoy this great tool. It's helped me a lot with my troubleshooting and finding out what's going on and optimizing my character. Hopefully you can get some use out of it too. If you find this helpful, guys, please give this uh, video a thumbs up. Consider subbing to the channel if you haven't already and come check me out on Twitch. There's also a link in the description. Streaming heaps of wow at the moment over on Twitch. Thanks guys and I'll see you in the next one.